guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to girl names that I love or that my husband and I love but won't be using for one reason or another. Uh, for context, we like more vintage, timeless girl names, something feminine, something strong, something with good meaning. So that's kind of the overall theme of what I have here in my notes. Let's just go ahead and start in with actually the name that we almost named our second daughter, but we didn't like the flow of it with our first daughter, and that is the name Adeline or Adeline. We almost named our second daughter this, and when it came around to picking out a name for this baby girl, we just couldn't, we still didn't like the flow of it, although there had been a name in between that, a couple of names in between kids we just couldn't quite bring ourselves around to using that name so it's a name I will heavily I would totally consider if it's something that my husband wanted to go for but it's just not a name that we felt fit well with our family the next name is Ava now I like the name Ava by the time we kind of talked about it we had already decided on what we are naming our baby girl we do have the name picked out we will not be sharing that uh, on this platform at least not at this time but I like the name Ava another reason is I've got really good friends who have a daughter named Ava and it would just be a lot of like who's who um, but I really think it's really pretty a name that I really liked growing up and I know it's a name that I believe my mom liked growing up as well it's the name Amara it's really really pretty it just doesn't quite fit in with like our naming style it's not a name that I feel like my husband would go for, but it is a really pretty name. It's just not, again, just not our naming style. And then a biblical name that I really like is the name Esther. Now Esther is my favorite woman in the Bible. Um, I know people who have named their kids, their daughters Esther, and I really do like it. It's not my husband's favorite name though, but I, I do like it. And then this next name is actually the name we would have named our son if he would have been a girl and that is the name Olivia again it's one of those names that you know we found out we're having a girl we kind of played around with it a little bit and we just couldn't quite find a way to it just didn't flow well with our family coming into this time around but I really love the name Olivia I love using the name Liv as the nickname um, every Olivia that I know I really like and I think it's a really pretty name and then Another name that we actually, this was the first name that we had picked out when we found out we were pregnant and we were considering naming options with a girl. Uh, it's actually my daughter's favorite name and another, you know, another reason why we would have used it because we could have uh, got to say that big sister got to name um, baby and that is the name Alice. Um, and we were close to using it but again we started playing around with the name fitting it in with our other children and we just the name kind of lost it's kind of it's I don't even know what the word is but it just kind of lost the sound for us and we just couldn't commit to that name I mean and that's not to say that we still won't change the name we have picked out for our baby girl but we're pretty settled on the name we're pretty happy with it and the more we say it out loud the more we like it um but I would have considered Alice I think it would have been sweet to have my daughter I've named her baby sister but it's just not a name that again just flows well we lost the love we had for it when we were first picking out baby names and my husband and I we actually pick out baby names really early we always kind of have names kind of in the back of our head so like as soon as we find out we're pregnant or even when we think we're pregnant we're already tossing around baby names so Alice was definitely at the top of the list and will probably be considered baby girl's almost name. Another name that I like that my husband just cannot get around to is Willow. I have a friend who named her youngest daughter Willow and I fell in love with it. I think it is so beautiful, it is so gorgeous, but I just can't convince my husband to name our baby that. And another name that I could not convince my husband to name our baby is Charlene. Uh, it's a timeless name, it's actually a family name, um, but it's very timeless, very strong, very beautiful, and then the alternative to that I believe would be Charlotte. 
which I'm not too keen on Charlotte, but I think it's cute. But Charlene, I just think it fits so beautiful and just very timeless. And my husband's like, it sounds like an old lady. And I keep telling him, I love old lady names. I mean, they're going to grow old one day, but uh, hopefully. <laughs> but he just, he, I can convince him of it, even if I tried. Then another name that I heard floating around, I've got a couple friends who named their daughters this, and that is Kennedy. Doesn't really fit in with our name and style, but I think it's pretty. And then one last name that I really liked growing up is Alana. As an adult, I, it's not my favorite name anymore, but it's one of those names where if my husband would be like, I really, really like this, I would totally go for it. I think it's really pretty. I think it's got some vintage timelessness to it. Um, I just, it doesn't quite flow with where our kids are already at naming wise. Anyway, that is all of our girl names, all of the girl names that I've had picked out. A lot of these, my husband and I did toss around with each other and then a lot of these um, I just kind of like and I think that they're cute maybe for other children just not really that fits in with our style anyway uh, if you are new here my name is Michaela I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle and I am currently pregnant uh, so if you're into that kind of content hit that subscribe button but if not but you still want to stick around see what's going on around here hit that subscribe button and before we leave I will go ahead and do a bump shot um, but with that being said, um, oh yeah, and at the time I am filming this, I am just over 22 weeks pregnant for some reference points. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.